what up guys and welcome back to another video today i will be showing you how to install retro art slash bar files on your blackberry 10 device so let's get started first things first you're going to want to go to the link in the description which is going to be this page right here you're going to click add to chrome and by the way you must have a computer in order to do this Click on that. It's going to start installing it on your Chrome browser. There you go. It's installed. You close it. The next link I'll be providing is going to be to this page to actually download the retro art. And you're going to want to download this version right here 1.0.2.97 BB10. And you're going to click right here on retro art cascade and click on it. And as you guys could see, it should start downloading right here. After that's done downloading, we're gonna grab our Blackberry and I will show you what to do next. So now that we are in the Blackberry, we're gonna go into our settings right here. We're gonna scroll down to security and privacy. Click on there and we're gonna scroll down to development mode and we're gonna enable it it's gonna ask you for your password type it in and there you go you hit ok after you type in your password and development mode should be enabled now we go back and go back again and we scroll down to about phone Right here where it says category, we're going to switch that to network. And we're going to scroll up. And this is what we're looking for, IPv4. You're going to need that in order to type that in the computers, in order to access and install bar files. Uh, remember it, write it down. I like to take a screenshot by holding both of the volume keys up and down at the same time. And now that we have that memorized, we're gonna go back to the computer and I'm gonna show you what to do so next. Now that we are on the computer, you're gonna open up Chrome. You should see a little Blackberry icon right here in the corner. Click on it. Right here, as you guys could see, is where you're gonna type in your IPv4 address. You guys could see I had mine already typed in, but I'm gonna type it in again anyway. We're gonna hit save. Right here, manage your device. You should see your IPv4 address. You're going to click on it. And it should take you to your BlackBerry. And these are all the applications that are installed on your BlackBerry. You could even launch them from here, terminate them, or uninstall them. But we're not worried about that right now. We're going to hit install app right here on top. And we're going to go into Retro Art Cascades. And we're gonna hit open or wherever you saved your um, bar file that we downloaded earlier. And you guys should see it's installing it. And another thing I forgot to mention, your phone and your computer should be connected to the same network in order for this to work. I forgot to tell you guys that. But anyway, we wait for this to install and we wait and this is what you're going to use this is the program you're going to use for any bar file you're trying to install as you guys could, oh, as you guys know the blackberry app world is going to be closing down pretty soon and this is going to be the only way you're going to be able to download and install your bar files you know but anyway you should get this success, meaning that it was successfully installed. And after that, we're gonna go to our BlackBerry phone and I'm gonna show you guys what to do next. So now that we're on our BlackBerry, you're gonna scroll down and you guys should notice a new icon on it. And it should be Retro Arc, you guys could see right there. We're gonna open it. By the way, a lot of people that don't know what RetroCard is, it's just one application with a bunch of emulators. All the emulators you guys could think. Uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, NES, 
Game Boy Color, all that, all those good things. And the cool thing about this one is that you could actually map your your BlackBerry keyboard to the controls and actually use them instead of having the controls in the touchscreen, which is a much better experience, you know. Unlike the tutorial I made uh, about how to install emulators on your BlackBerry Classic or BlackBerry 10, I don't know if you guys seen that um, tutorial. If you guys haven't seen it, you guys should check it out. And we're gonna go right here into input, and as you guys could see, it lets you uh, let you uh, map the buttons to your keyboard. So right here, I'm just gonna map uh, B as in K, and then A to J. And let me see, down I'm gonna map it to S. And now we go back right here, main menu. And just to give you guys a quick demonstration, I'm gonna open up the Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Advance emulator right here. And we're gonna click on this little paper thing. And your folder should pop out. I already have my uh, emulators, I mean my ROMs in here. I'm gonna click uh, GBA and I'm gonna click on this one and you hit play. And that's basically all you do. You guys could see, I hit, I'm gonna hit A and everything works. You guys could see, the buttons work and everything. But anyway, enough of that. I ain't trying to get copyrighted for the music. But yeah, guys, that's how you basically install RetroArch and uh, set it up on your BlackBerry 10 device. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and if you did, give it a like. And like always, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. And I will see you guys on the next video. So peace out. What up guys? I just want to give you guys this quick demonstration. So you guys could see how this actually works. Uh, you could actually play with the buttons. Of your Blackberry. Real quick. Let me uh, show you guys. Because I feel like a lot of people are going to be like. Whoa. You know. You didn't really show us much. But uh, you guys could see. You could jump. Run, I'm just gonna play this real quick. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, I died. But I mean, hopefully you guys could uh, get the idea, you know, that it actually works. But anyway, peace out, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.